We'd all love to believe that there's a single car that's perfect for every occasion, but obviously that's not the case. So for this sixth installment of Car Trek, our challenge was to construct the perfect three car dream garage for just $30,000. That's right, for less than the average price of a brand new car, we had to find three cars each, a sports car, a luxury sedan, and a capable off-roader. And to make things even more interesting, Auto Tempest told us to buy cars from our favorite country of manufactured origin. For me, it's the United States. For Freddie, it's Japan. And for Ed, it's Germany. And they told us to meet in my home turf of Kansas, which is much, much flatter than this. Yeah, but more tornadoes. I'm Tyler Hoover of Hoovy's Garage. I'm Freddie Tavares Hernandez. And I'm Ed Bolian from Venwicky. And this is Car Trek. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> The perfect three-car dream garage has to start with a sports car, obviously, because they're fast, they're exciting, and if we started this any other way, you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video. As a first test of our sporty bargains, Auto Tempest sent us to a dyno shop to see how much power our cars were actually making, and I was ready to hurt some feelings. Gentlemen, welcome to Kansas. Ooh. Finally, I have the home field advantage and I'm bringing the heat here. Look at this. Ooh, a Trans Am. Do you have a country music alter ego you haven't told us about? <laughs> no, we had a budget of $30,000 for a three car garage. I spent 10,000 of it to buy a 2000 Pontiac Trans Am WS6 with the greatest engine in the world. LS1 to be specific. They're very proud of it being a WS6. Certainly, yeah. legendary LS engine under the hood, the greatest engine ever made, obviously. Uh huh. And W6 package means better handling, better braking, more power actually, but there's nothing stock about this car. Oh, what's done to it? Yeah. Up the hood. Nostrils. Yes, four of them. Uh huh. Yeah. It's like an SLR, really. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just look at the engine, see? Oh. Big throttle body, intake, cams, exhaust, you name it. This is like a boomer exploded in here. <laughs> But does it have 545 horsepower? Almost certainly. It feels every bit of it. $10,000. Six-speed manual T-tops. No. Look at the nostril spoiler. Pop-up headlights. It, yes, it does. And obviously, you've properly allocated out of our $30,000 budget, $10,000 towards this. That's not the greatest engine in the world. It absolutely, most it, certainly it is. It absolutely is not, because the greatest engine in the world is in this car, which is the 2JZ GTE. This is your car that you've had for five years. I can tell from the uh, Ronald McDonald vinyl interior in there. Yeah. But yeah, like, this is your car. Yeah, but this is a dream car garage, and this is one of my dream cars. This is a 1995 Toyota Supra SE. It's a special edition, and there's no target top. This is not removable. This is the one you want because it has better handling. It actually weighs a little bit less, and they are very, very rare. This, I don't believe, can be bought in this world today for $30,000 remotely. It doesn't matter what can be bought today because I bought this for $23,000 on Auto Tempest. And honestly, I mean, you can't go wrong with something like this. Freddie, I thought Ed's 599 was cheating, but percentage wise, this is the biggest cheat in Car Trek history this for is, sure. This is not some weird IRS scam. This is actually like a bona fide $23,000 that I spent on this car. Outside Ed. the spirit of the challenge. It is not my fault that I made good financial decisions a few years ago, okay? That's the first time he's ever been able to say that in his entire life. It, it feels good. Yeah, actually. we know Ed feels pretty good. usually makes the good financial decisions, but exactly. I like mean, this. Ed, I'm a 996 oh. fan. I've owned many. I say this with love. They are ugly cars, but that is the ugliest one that I have ever seen by a lot. Patina. It's a... Uh, Patina. There's a hole in it. Every time he sees a hole. Ed, are you okay? You like, know, is everything okay at home? I like a car with a good story, and if you can believe it, this has one. So, did somebody hate the runny egg headlights so much that they just took a baseball bat to them? Is that no, in fact, that is the best way to steal it. And so the second time out of three that this car was stolen, you reach in there to get the emergency release. So it was stolen three times. Yes. But that doesn't explain this, well, surface of the moon kind of thing going on. I've never seen this kind of paint wear before. Between the second and the third thefts, it was stored for about a decade on a chicken farm. You don't say. So it was defecated upon by the chickens, yes. Mm -hmm. The smells generally dissipated. So that, that's 
chicken sh sh poop. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. yeah yes. Guards red with that as an aftermath. And so uh, it, it's had a hard life. Honestly, it's very well sorted mechanically. It is a very highly equipped car, factory aero package, factory limited slip, the X51 ultra rare engine package. It was kind of made to be as much like a 996.1 GT3 as you could have in America. I mean, this is definitely in my wheelhouse. This this is something I'd buy, not, not you. you. You usually make good financial decisions. What? Uh, he cheats every single time. What do you mean, about good financial? You have one right here. How much? If you can believe it, just fifteen thousand dollars. Well, that's. Uh, but it came with a nine thousand dollar recent service bill, so it should be totally sorted out, ready to go. I don't think it's going to strand us at all. This is this has got to be the ugliest one car. ever. It's not. It's not. So, gentlemen, Auto Tempest, the best way to search for a used car because it combines all the major listing sites into one search. Tell all your friends about Auto Tempest. They told me to find a dyno shop, and well, that's why we are here in Keechai, Kansas. Mm -hmm. Keechai, Kansas is known for its artistic community, blown glass. A lot of beautiful things come out of here, and there is a beautiful dyno shop behind us. Polk Performance. Dave Polk runs this place, a dyno jet. We're going to find out how much horsepower our cars have, or yeah, <laughs> lack, much, lack thereof. How car doesn't have a yeah. 51 power kit. Everything you could put on one, I'm, I'm sure it'll put you two to shame. You know, two JZs are made for this, right? Like, this is the one thing Supras are, like, super good at. As long as they're made by anybody but you. Well, I'll go first. I'll show you guys how it's done. Does it start? I don't know. Oh yeah, that rear main seal is wet, wet, wet. <laughs> Does that know how to drive stick? Probably get there. I think it needs to have a gate on it. <laughs> What's that? There's no gate on the shifter, you don't know what don't to know do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> How am I supposed to stop on top of a wheel? This is impossible. Oh, you really don't need to strap it down that hard. I mean, this thing does, it's a beetle. So stock, this car has 296 horsepower, but the X51 kit was supposed to add 26 more, so maybe 320. Now the GT3 of the 996.1 generation was 365, and what I was told is that it should be close to that. So even given some drivetrain loss, I should make probably a little over 300 wheel horsepower, which isn't the moon and back, but should be well enough to race these guys soon. Just drive her up like you would normally drive to fourth gear. Yeah. 2,500 RPMs. All right. Hold the 25, so I can calibrate. That's German horsepower. They're bigger horses. Oh, all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> this thing is a turd. The outside and the engine are like, they, they mix so well. <laughs> well, gentlemen, my car has a label on it. This is just a formality to see how much horsepower it has. They can't lie about that label, right? Of course not. Yeah. No, it's LS. It would be illegal if they put a label on it and it didn't make 545 it, horsepower. It's I'm, probably more. It'll probably do more.
up and away in my beautiful, my beautiful WSC. You got some paint runs down here, man. Yeah, you do. They're 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 real big. If you can believe it, I don't think this car is factory. Yeah, something tells me it's uh, it's been worked on a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The the Milestar tires. That's a dead giveaway. Well, those are the best Chinese Michelin knockoffs that money can buy, sir. Oh. Okay. Good. Yes. There it is. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. You guys ready? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Drivetrain loss. It's normal for a car. So at the crank, is it, it is putting out. No, it's not. It's putting out 500 horsepower plus at the crank. It's losing it at the wheels. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. That's not how math works, and no. I know how math works. It's losing it. It's losing it. I smoke. can't. I can't hear you over my eyes. Listen to that. You're, you're yeah. Listen to that. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. It's still double Ed's horsepower. Double. Double. It, the sticker's close. It's close. While Tyler's mullet mobile failed to live up to its own hype, I was confident in my Supra because I had modified this car myself. It's a lot less leaky under here than ours because he doesn't oh, drive right. it anywhere. That's a big exhaust. That looks very uh, legal. Oh yeah. <laughs> the first ever Bluetooth wireless remote oxygen sensor, or it's not plugged in. If this were in California, they would be crushing it immediately. It is though the perfect car for him because you know, he'd like to have an Instagram handle on the window and he doesn't really care about going fast, but he loves big horsepower. Right. Just before we go, this is a dyno jet. Uh -huh. The dyno jet is the same everywhere across the country, right? No. There's no cheating dyno jets. There are. Yeah, of course there are. They well, don't lie. No, they're, they could be broken. I have no idea what the, the standards and practices of people in Kansas you, dyno. Your previous dyno roads could have been manipulated. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Go for it. Not at all. So you remember our curves that were really nice and steady? Turbo lag. And then 200,000 miles. What was it? Up to his sticker. 509. 509? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're running so, pump gas? So, yes, I'm running pump gas. So, 509 sounds fine to mere mortals like you. And, and you, I mean, you would, uh, you don't even need to be here. But not a choose AZ. That was actually surprising to me. Um, but I have a little trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna try something. This is gonna right. be awesome, or it's gonna be very oh, disappointing. Right, you Are you going to break your motor? Two JZs don't break, Ed. Okay. Famous last words. My secret weapon was a little sensor I installed in my engine that detected the type of gas I put in. Two jugs of race fuel meant I could make more power than Ed and Tyler combined. At least, that was the idea. What do you got there? It smells like nail polish remover it and really corn. Wizard would drink that. Oh yeah, he'd love it. Yeah. So you have like almost $200 worth of fuel in the car? Yeah, but I mean, you know, with, with these gas prices. 
Should I pull the pin? I mean, uh, yes. So dial nine one, and then on my mark, you dial one again. All right, hit it hard. Sim. Human shield. Human sh ed, ed shield. Bypassing or something down here. Oh, so I think there might be a boost leak somewhere. Yeah. Hey, Jared, remember that uh, fake blow off valve that we put on this car and I thought we should put on a real one? And you were like, nah, it'll be fine. Yeah, guess what's leaking now and not making any sort of power? So it's Jared's fault. No, it's not Jared's fault. It's the, it's the part. It's always the part. It's the Chinesium inside the blow off yeah, valve. The that... Chinesium, exactly. Okay. This should make a thousand horsepower. It, it should. Every single built super on the internet makes a thousand horsepower yeah. according to their owners and you're at half that so you got to be disappointed he thought it was going to make like 750 so right. he's missing 200 horsepower yeah. at the full kill mode if that same 200 horsepower is missing from the normal mode then you have more power that's not how horsepower works i think it is exactly how it's horsepower it's not works. at all no well i'm getting a text oh are you from auto tempest how okay mm-hmm it doesn't matter how much horsepower your car makes or does not make, what matters is how you can put it down. Oh, your yeah. next stop is a nearby drag strip where you can see who yes. can lay down the fastest quarter mile time. This is made for that. I have all of my horsepower and torque instantly with the LS. By the time your laggy thing kind of kicks in, I'll be, yeah. Have you no seen problem. your tires? They're the same thing. They're it's, not the same. These are Michelins. Yours are like It, it looks Michelin the same. Mile stars. <laughs> mile stars. They put the power down. Oh, do they? Do that. Well, my car might just win. It might come from behind and surprise you. <laughs> 220 horsepower. No. You're going to have to fix it. Some more wrenching. That This is, it's fine. Even with it leaking, it's more than what I need to beat you to. I need to fix this car. With our cars intact and our egos thoroughly bruised, we hit Kansas's arrow straight roads to prove that our cars could put their power down to the ground. Well, two of us did. I will have trouble for sure keeping in the traction of the drag strip. I probably should have invested in some better tires. But, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Burnhouse is what it's all about. And Freddie's gonna have a really hard time putting the power down anyway. I mean, come on. That lag, the way the boost kicks in, it, there, there's no keeping that in traction. The delivery on this is just so smooth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a more practical Corvette. The Corvette certainly was neat, but you don't have the back seat. You don't have the comfort. I mean, obviously the build quality is about the same. The dash is cracking. This is, this is a thing. But the seats are very comfortable, very supportive, and you kind of put up with the cheap interiors of this era to get, well, a fantastic driving and looking vehicle. Plus there's T-tops. I have the roof off. I mean, Freddie can argue that his 2JZ is better, but what is the go-to engine to swap into just about everything? What has created a whole festival surrounding it? LS Fest. It's obviously the most loved engine in the history of engines in the world, probably since the flathead Ford. And this is the cheapest way to get into it, a fourth gen. And I think the Trans Am, well, it, it's great. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's just evil sounding. Yes! <laughs> oh yeah. It is a real true WS6 car and well they're pretty collectible. It's a good deal to get this thing for $10,000 even with 109,000 miles and honestly you couldn't build a car like this with the cams, exhaust intake, everything uh, for what I paid for it. So amazing deal. Is it perfect? No, it definitely has trouble idling, especially with the air conditioning on. It, it, it doesn't want to idle. It, yeah, it's stalling out right now. Once you get going though, you can turn the air conditioning on and you don't have to worry about a bad idle. You can just go down the road and then you have all the power. Yeah. 
Ah, that is good. That is so good. And twice the power of Ed's 911. If you pose the question, what is the best sports car you can buy, it seems like a loaded one. I mean, how could you answer that with all the great options available? But there is a right answer, and as much fun as a Ferrari or a Lamborghini can be, you are always playing a bit of automotive Russian roulette with the eventual maintenance cost. And so if you want to do everything related to spirited driving in a single car, the right answer is this, a manual transmission, naturally aspirated rear-wheel drive Porsche 911. They occupy every possible price point this being probably the cheapest you could get a manual coupe for today but all the way up to multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars they've made a million of them literally over the last 60 years and they do have it dialed into perfection they are appliances for speed but i just don't really like them i had a 993 for a while i had a roof rt 12 s i had a 944 turbo and i just never really managed to fall in love with any of them there's a lot to like about a 911, I just have more fun in my Italian cars. And so who knows, maybe today or this trip will be my first chance to truly fall in love with a Porsche. Hasn't happened yet, but we'll just have to wait and see. But regardless of what you think about this car, it's just such a better place to be in than that Supra or the WS6. I know there's a redneck good time to be had in a Trans Am, and I understand that you can make a Supra at least able to talk about going fast, even if it doesn't go all that fast. But if you're actually going to live with a car for the next five or 10 years, you really can't do a whole lot better than this thing. And maybe it doesn't have all the power it's supposed to, and maybe it does look like it's outside on a chicken farm for that long but that just means you've got a much better story to tell and to add to as you continue to own the car and that's what I prefer and if you pull up to a bar in this car before too terribly long I'll tell you what you're gonna forget how much the beer even cost <laughs> yes something about dream cars you actually have to dream about them and nobody's doing that with a base model 911 and nobody's doing that with a WS6 at least not one like Tyler has but when you look at a Supra especially a Supra like this that makes this kind of power and this noise <laughs> this fits the bill entirely this ticks all the boxes and for under 30 grand you can't do any better than this well when i got this car these things were expensive i always thought that i overpaid for this car i paid about twenty-three thousand dollars. but turns out the market went ahead and doubled up on that price because this car right now would be somewhere around fifty to seventy thousand dollars it's because this thing is rare this thing is real fast and it is iconic. This was the movie car from Fast and Furious. Hey, can't you believe that's all you buy? Well, not this actual car, but one just like it, and one that made a noise just like that. That 2JZ GTE in stock form makes around 320 horsepower. This is not stock though. This engine actually started life as a naturally aspirated, no turbo engine. And then I got my grubby mitts on it. I put a turbo on it. I put variable valve timing on it. We have a standalone engine management computer. We have a six speed manual transmission from a 370Z. We have a limited slip differential and we have a really, really, really big turbo. Now Tyler and Ed are obviously gonna cry foul because this car right now is super expensive in the market. But let's say you did wanna buy a Supra right now and all you had was $30,000. You still could get a right-hand drive, maybe a non-turbo, maybe automatic. Now one thing with modified cars is that they are never really done. You saw on the dyno that this didn't make all the power that I thought it was gonna make. I honestly thought it would do 700 plus horsepower to the rear wheels, which means that it's right around 850 to 900 horsepower at the engine. And 
It didn't make that, but that's because it needs a little bit of tweaking. This car did sit for a while. It probably has some boost leaks, but that doesn't matter because it is very, very fast and it is way faster than both of those cars. And it makes a sound that sounds like the gates of hell are opening. Oh yeah. Now I don't care what Tyler or Ed have. It's not this. And that means they chose wrong. Oh, I could do this all day. the Kansas International Dragway in Mays, Kansas. Now, on this track here, LSs have been slaying for decades. Well, should we do qualifying laps? I mean, we already know who's gonna be last. <sighs> it, it might surprise you. It's got hollow spoke wheels. You can you can sit on those stands over there. It's fine. No, I, but Tyler, why don't you show us how it's done first, sure. then I'll go, and then Freddie can disappoint. I'll set the bar here, and you guys can just limbo under it. All right, line them up. How many things do you think are going to fall off this car? Here we go. That's how you line up the tires. Yeah. I bet the trunk of that thing is full of Mountain Dew, dip cans, and notices of license suspension. It's full of oil smoke. Yes. There we go. Uh, second car. I mean, that's like the kind of car that runaway brides run away in, so it needs to be oh. able to go fast yes. like that. Yes, Yeah. <laughs> I just grew like 545 new chest hairs at that moment. <laughs> Not too shabby, sir. What was it? 13, 16 at like 117 miles an hour. 117 <laughs> miles an hour. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's pretty good qualifying, but I think I can do a little better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get the portion. Oh, Ed's gonna do a burnout? Oh, no. Ed, uh, we're gonna need you to make Germany proud on this one. This is exactly the car they want representing them. Oh, boy. Oh, it's so sad looking. It really is. Well, that arrow kit is so unnecessary on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I have to disclaim my downforce from my arrow kit. Oh. They hurt me in this. <laughs> I think the fact that your engine is super hurt, that probably hurts you a little bit more than your arrow does. These are German horsepower. 220 German horsepower is like 600 American horsepower. All right, line it up. Here we go into second. We didn't like second. Not a drag racer, not a drag racing car, but we are screaming. Go Porsche! Racing pedigree! Oh, he's still racing. <laughs> wow. wow. That's a Porsche. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, that's fine German engineering. 87 miles an hour, 15.3 seconds. We're getting in Yugo territory now. What, what side of Germany was this car made in? <laughs> right. Yeah, the Lada side. <laughs> Holy crap. How was that one? Pathetic. 15.3, 87 <laughs> miles per hour. That may be the worst run of a Porsche 911 ever in this track. 
I short shifted the third a bit, I'll be honest, but. Uh, All right, well, Freddie's gonna get out now. All right, Freddie, blow something up. Freddie? What? Oh, you want me to show you how it's done? Oh! Let's see if that thing can actually put power down. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, it can. I, I have the best tires, the best engine, the most power. Don't go into the wall. I'm, don't. It's, it's fine. There's two of them. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, I have a brand new clutch, and it was very expensive. And one of the rules for the clutch is that uh, you can't do drag launches. So I'm sorry. I'll give you the password, but one letter is going to be off. <laughs> All right, double clutch it, ready. Don't granny shift it. Do you even know what that means? Nope. Absolutely not. I know Vin Diesel did not know what it meant for no. sure. All right, Supra. We have one chance to beat Tyler Hoover on his home track. I'm not nervous. All right, stage. Is it going to shoot the big fire? Yes. Ooh. Just no traction. No. Had a little, little bit. Now we're in the boost. Yep. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> God, this thing needs. Drag radials or something. Just had so much wheel hop. 13, 14, and you were? 13, 16, so we're neck and neck. I mean, that's it, that's it. So that was a 13, 14, so we are neck and neck. <laughs> would you fancy a heads up race? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> but I got this. I'm not gonna wave my underwear to make you start. You have nice underpants, by the way. Thank you. They're very festive. A little right. brown in the, in the middle, though. Well, I mean, it happens. While Freddy's car technically made more power, the old saying goes, there's no replacement for displacement, which meant the 3-liter 2JZ was about to get taken to Gapplebee's by the mighty 5.7-liter LS. Freddy's ready when you are. Probably. You still couldn't hear his car over mine, though. No, no. It does sound good, and I am not an LS guy. Dude, I almost had you. <laughs> you almost had me? Yeah. It was a 1302. My best of the day. Yes, to a 1350. And it was worked. not your best launch. Yeah, that was my, my worst of the I day. I mean, neither of us had a perfect run. I had much better launches in that last one. Yeah. We, we could have both gotten in the 12s, but still, 
superior. This car could have gotten into the 11s and possibly 10s, but hold on, uh, hold on, this, hold on. this is the problem here. A text from Auto Tempest. Oh boy. Oh. Straight line speed can only get you so far. Your next stop is Hallett Motor Racing Circuit, where more challenges await. <laughs> ah, there yeah. we go. Now we get to turn. Mm -hmm. I can maintain speed and show you what a Porsche is made of. That is a very technical course that doesn't have a lot of speed and straights, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Full, well, time to find some rest for the evening, and uh, you guys need to be ready for a beat down. Tyler, you want to race again? I'm saving my car. Let's be honest. Come on. Uh, no. Best man no. of five. No, no. Come Tyler on. Tyler weans. No. I ween. I ween. It feels so good to ween again. Well, gentlemen, welcome to Hallett. See who can register the highest on a G Force meter. <laughs> I'm going to have trouble keeping this on the track. Make me love a Porsche. Make break, break, break. <laughs> Car track present versus the past. Breaks, 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 breaks. Ah! It's time to find out what each of the cars is actually worth. We've assembled a panel oh, yeah. of the local Wichita YouTubers. You guys aren't going to believe what I got. Today we revealed our sports cars to each other, and in the next episode, we are going to test them like they've never been tested before. And a great way to test your auto searching skills is to go on autotempest.com. It's really not that hard because they combine all the major listing sites into one search. It's wonderful. That's it. Autotempest.com. All the cars. One search. Tell everybody you know about it. Tell your mama. Tell your kids. Tell your wife. Please. Yeah. 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 Click, click the link. Just do it right now. Please.